administration, but our next guest says it's actually the other way around. Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich is the author of the newly released book, Assault and Flattery. And she joins us now to talk about this in a whole lot more. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being with us. Thanks so much for having me. First, I want to get your thoughts on this. There's a West Virginia mother. Her name is Holly Fisher. She goes by Holly Hobby Lobby on Twitter and has yes. been very outspoken about her beliefs on gun control, on abortion. Uh, and so here's a picture of her. She posted this when she's clinging to her gun in her Bible with the American flag behind her. And then here's what the left has done to her. They're basically comparing her to a terrorist and saying, Explain the difference. Your thoughts? Well, first, this started because Miss Holly, or Holly Hobby Lobby, she posted a picture in front of a Hobby Lobby store and a pro life t shirt holding a Chick fil A cup. That was the first picture she posted. Got plenty of hate from that. But then she posted this, and the left is now attacking her. She's received rape threats, and, and her response is look, Try and rape me. I have my rape whistle with me, which I think is a great response. But this this comparison is absolutely asinine. There's a, you know a huge difference between radical Islam terrorism and a woman simply exercising her constitutional rights. That's what she's doing here, and it's a matter of free speech. Women, conservative women in particular, shouldn't be vilified by the left for simply speaking out for what they believe in. Yeah, I'd love to chat with her. This conservative mother of three under fire for just sharing her beliefs. Right. Too. Exactly. All right. Well, let's talk about some some myths that you can debunk for us. You say the first one is that the Democratic Party is the party for women. Right, so we hear this all the time. Democrats are the party for women, Republicans hate women. But the fact is that it was Republicans who wanted to push for women's suffrage. And, and it wasn't until Democrats thought it was politically convenient for, for them to support women's suffrage that they came in, hijacked the movement, and then they've had credit for 50 years for being pro women's rights. But when you really look at the history, as I do in my book, you'll see that it was Republicans who really wanted to give women equal rights, and it was Democrats who voted against it. Yeah, break out the history books and you'll really exactly. see. Exactly. How about Hillary Clinton being the ultimate? female role model. You know, Hillary Clinton is America's most notorious enabler of abusive and powerful men. And if you take a look at her history going back to the 1970s and up till now, her time as an attorney and up to the State Department, she has a very bad record when it comes to defending women's rights, despite portraying this idea that she is all about empowering women and girls, whether it's defending her husband while she allowed him to drag the names of women he abused through the mud, or whether it was ignoring uh, uh, allegations of sexual assault and and, uh, and in, even rape in some cases uh, of diplomat, by diplom diplomats of young women overseas while they were even on her trip. So that's something that I think people should take into account when she's claiming, especially in 2016, if she decides to run, that she is a proponent for women and girls. And Katie, the next Democrat claim, Democrats aren't misogynists, only Republicans are. Right. So for some reason, Democrats tend to forget that they're the party that, portray that glorifies people like Ted Kennedy and Bill Clinton. And if you break out the history books again, as I do in this book, Ted Kennedy is the one who left a woman to drown in his car. And for some reason, the left wanted to talk about Mitt Romney's bullying of someone in high school, but we're not allowed to talk about Ted Kennedy's his real history with women. And that's something I think people should also be reminded of. She's on the other foot. Hmm. And finally, women don't need a gun to protect themselves. You know, before women had the right to vote, they had the right to own a firearm. And they say that God made man and God made woman, but Sam Colt made them equal. And the, the greatest <laughs> equalizer between men and women is a firearm. And it is an atrocity that Democrats are constantly trying to take away the right from women to defend themselves and to defend them, their families. Katie Pavlich, once again, the book is Assault and Flattery. Good luck with that. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming in today.